welcome back folks. I'm Mike with Drone Deer Recovery. This video, we are going to join Jeremy Yoder from Indiana on his very first drone deer recovery that he does for us. It was pretty crazy, I might say myself. He also mentions it in the video. Very first day, season opener out there, very first call, he went out there and was able to successfully locate this buck. It was uh, it was a little wild. I'm not gonna give too much of the story away, but if this is your very first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It's going to be pretty crazy this season with all the content that will be coming your way. And uh, let's hop in there and check this out. Like, what do you think you hit? Liver? Lungs up here, I mean, yeah, heart, look. Try it right there. I don't care where he's at. <laughs> we <laughs> find him. Is that a dead doe? It kind of looks like yeah. it. Alrighty guys, we're headed to our very first, my very first recovery call. Have you already done some? This no, this was my very first recovery call. It is October 1st, which is our bow season opener in Indiana here. So I wasn't exactly sure, you know, if I should be expecting a call on opening day, but uh, here we are. I got a call, so pretty jacked about it. He said, uh, he made the shot, some kind of like chest high, head high maybe, I'm not exactly sure. Lungs up here, I mean, yeah, heart, look, try it right there, right, center of everything. And ran, uh, thinking around 50 yards. How far did he run? <laughs> 70 yards? Yeah, 80. So we stopped and just walked off. My, uh, confidence levels are pretty high that we're going to find this deer. No, but I think there's... That looks like him. That's him, dude. You know, this time of year we have the canopy. That's pretty thick. First call popped up. Go give it our best and see if we can find his deer. Stay tuned. So, Briar? Yeah, Tyler. If you were actually from Montgomery, we seen that the website said. You mean how far are we from here? About three and a half miles north. We've got it shot. Yeah, so this is what we're going after. So he's 15 yards broadside. That's a good deer. So, I mean, what kind of shot do you think you, like, what do you think you hit? Liver? Stomach? I guess, I don't know. Lungs up here, I mean, yeah, heart, look, try it right there, right. Like the center of everything, you know? I was trying to aim for like low lung, right. from, like, you know, I'll, yeah. I'll hit heart. He come through the shooting window and I stopped him. I feel like he's dead, but you yeah, just gotta I, find him. If he was looking bleed, at your uh, arrow. Arrow's yeah. got good blood. Yeah. I mean, you're not gonna have that much blood on a pure gut shot. That, that's it was good drenched. Blood. I mean, it didn't have air bubbles or yeah. nothing, but I mean, I mean that thing is drenched. Yeah. My experience with uh, lung and or liver and gut shots, go right about 20, 30 yards, kind of stop, and then what you say, flick your tail and yeah. just walk on uh -huh. really slow. And that's what I'm, I'm hoping it's liver. Two years ago, I had the same thing happen. I was using a one-inch fixed plate. Right. And then I had blood for 100 yards, and then bang, gone. I tracked on the ground, hands and knees for a long time now. It's the second deer, like man, I'm hoping it's, uh, he's in there. Is that kind of what we're going to search? Yes, for? yes. Right there? Oh, so he come in the other way. Yeah, but this is the tree I shot him. Yes. Right there, oh, oh, yeah. back here. I feel pretty confident. So we're talking three and a half hours ago. Yeah, so that's that's a decent expired time. Fine. Yeah, if we ain't too far in here. We're gonna cut in here, coal mine. And okay, just follow us. And go on. All right. Yeah. <laughs> one of the best trucks I think. That's a much smaller case than I thought. Did you drive to Ohio and get training from Mike? Yeah, I did. I drove out there for uh, one day. He kind of went through a lot of the main points and yeah. things like that. So check that out. Is that tree? Yeah, I think the tree's sticking up. He ain't quite to the top of the hill yet, though, but tree. is it possible that he's underneath and you can pick up his signature, like, through it? Uh, yeah. It's a little white. May not be him, but whatever I'm seeing, it's, that's pretty thick. It's in, like, trees like that and bush let me, trees. Let me see if I can do it different. If not, hell, that ain't far off, so. With that, you just know. walk in there and check. So if he's in distress, he could have came right out here and just said, I'm going to take the easiest path to get as far as I can, even though I would have thought he would have went to some thicker stuff. But I'm going to get a knock with GPS in it. It's definitely a lot brighter than all the other stuff as well. These trees are holding some pretty oh, good heat. Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. Can't see antlers on there, can you? 
What's going on with his back legs? Is that a dead doe? It kind of looks like no, it. The head's in... No, it's still holding heat, though. The head's in... Yeah, it is holding What's... heat. Did they eat it or what? Look, the leg's ripped off of it. It's eating. It's eating up, yeah. I can't <clears> tell <throat> about the head, though. Normally see antlers scan. Yeah, I mean, you shoot. normally be able to. <laughs> eating doe. That'd be worth something checking out, but... Uh... Huh, that's weird. Yeah, that thing looks... Because yeah, the back end's all ripped off of mm -hmm. it. Can you drop a pin on that one and come yeah, back to it? we can come back. <laughs> it's like, what in the world, man? <laughs> I mean, all right. The one is over there. Like I said, I know you heard one blow back here, but I, I don't think he's back there. I think he's here on this south side. That is weird. But yeah, it's still holding heat, so that had to have happened recently. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I know I didn't expect to stake a buck for a dang doe. No. <laughs> no. There's about 150 that inches is, between. Yeah. That is a lot <laughs> We'll at least go march and check that out. Were, were there does out there? Not in this field. In bean field over there, there's 11 of them. Not in the food plot. So you're thinking like in this area somewhere? Yeah, I can see our plot. So here, yeah, so the stand was over there and he run down this way towards us and then walked into this woods right here I'm telling in this you. corner. Now he could have hopped across the road I'm telling or he you, could I have come back here and then he's spinning. You're thinking he, he's going to be back in here somewhere? Back in there. I lost him in this corner over here. Okay. Like basically right where we're parked at. So I'm I'm thinking I'm pretty sure I had a deer right there, but the with the trees I couldn't mm -hmm. I couldn't see it very well. So I'll go along the road again and do a couple passes this way along the road and see if I can pick anything up. Mm -hmm. That dead one was back here? Or was it I think it was, it was one of these one. two. One of these two here. Yeah. Yeah. Back one back here is the one that had its legs ripped off. That's weird. There's you know, coyotes we have, and bob, bobcats we haven't taken any of this, have we? Yeah, I did a one little loop right here, but yeah. I mean he could be like right along yeah, here. Yeah, Tyler, I'm telling you, I know it's your deer, but I think he's back in here. I feel like if he come this way and then kind of at an angle like this, I don't think he was wanting to go that way. I think he's back here. I don't care where he's at. We find him. It just makes sense that a deer's gonna, he wants to smell. That's, no, but I think there's still a wind blowing that way. Yeah. What's that? What if I said he was like right there? Is no, he right no. next to us? Where's he's he at? like, he's like right here. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. No that, that's way. him, Pull isn't it? Him. There's no that, way. That Pull that up that? again. Yeah, I think so. Oh my goodness. That's a deer folded up, man. That looks like him. That's him, dude. Where is he? <laughs> He's right here. Under the spotlight. He's right here. Dude, he literally did not go very far at all. There's no flipping way. Oh, oh my god. My. Yeah. <laughs> I walked by him to yeah. come out. No flipping way. Dude, you gotta be oh my god. Yeah. He's right under our nose. Are you kidding? <laughs> Well, that's so crazy. I know, I know he, he walked went. right up our mode path. We, we walked like five yards deer, from this deer. deer. We, we, how did we not we, smell I hit that deer? Out. I walked out here. <laughs> and I walked here, and we sat here four or five years. How crazy is that? Time. Congratulations, buddy. That's a good deer. <laughs> yeah, he's been dead for a while. That could be my craziest recovery of the season. Well, you heard it from Jeremy first. That might be one of his craziest recoveries that he will do this season. You know, it's one of those things that it probably happens more than you think, where the deer is really close to where we're walking and we just never see it, never smell it, never whatever. It, it might be right there. And you could obviously watch this video and see that, well, geez, he was right next to him. How did you guys not know? I don't know, it happens, and that's just part of it. Uh, but uh, finding another carcass out there eaten up by coyotes or whatever, it still had plenty of thermal. They were finding some good stuff, that's for sure. But uh, you know, what can I say? Cool recovery. It was funny at the end that it was right there, but they were happy. It's one of those things, they were not able to find him. Uh, on their own and the drone came in the technology works and he was able to locate it. So that's it That's all we got for this one. I appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one